Today what we're going to do is we're going to identify uh, the nine lead motor if we don't have any numbers or let's say that uh, the number one and four which are in the same phase are missing rather than just trying to figure out or try to hit and miss whether we're going to hit the number one or number four we're going to be able to tell exactly which one's which. In order to do this procedure, and this procedure was written by Augie Hand, what we're going to need to do this procedure is we're going to need either a 6 or a 9 volt battery uh, and we're also going to need an analog voltmeter. Uh, now we can go to the to a demonstration of how this is actually done. First thing we're going to do is we need to find out whether we have the Y or the delta configuration. We're going to use an analog voltmeter. First thing we need to do is need to identify our, com our combinations. These two light. We're going to check all nine. So these two are going to be a pair. Just going to kind of twist these together so we know what they are or that they do have continuity. Now being since we've only we've got a pair already we know this is going to be a Y configuration. So these two numbers are going to be a pair. And there's our third pair. Now we're going to, so this has to be a Y configuration. We've got three leads that light together. These three, we're going to go ahead and label seven, eight, and nine. So this is our internal Y connection. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to locate number one and number four. So what we're going to do, and we need to pay attention to which lead is our positive on our meter and which lead is positive on the battery. Okay, to identify the number one and four, we're going to connect the positive terminal of the battery to number seven, and then we're going to flash the negative to number eight in order to find number one and four with an upscale deflection so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it on each set and then we're going to flash the negative to number eight and then we're going to go ahead and take another set you can see that there is very little deflection, but there is a deflection there. It's very, very minute. It's basically no deflection. So this is our strongest deflection. So these, these numbers are going to be our number one and number four. Now to determine which one's number one and which one's number four, with an upscale deflection, the positive lead of the voltmeter will be on number one and the negative is going to be on number four. So our positive lead is number one. We can go ahead and identify that as number one. And the leg negative lead of our voltmeter is going to be number four. So with seven, eight, and nine identified and one and four, we need to identify number three and number six. So with number three and number six, we're gonna take the negative side of the battery Connect it to number seven. 
the positive side of the battery is going to be flashed to number nine. We're going to go ahead and put our voltmeter on two of the other pairs and we'll flash to number nine. There we do have a deflection. And there we have very little or no deflections. We'll go back and double check that. There we have our deflection. So these numbers are going to be number three and number six. With an upscale reading, the positive lead of the voltmeter is number three. Okay, with a positive, we've got a positive deflection. So the positive lead of our meter is going to be number three. We can go ahead and identify that. The negative side of our meter is going to be number six. Now the last two, we're going to need to find number two and number five. So in order to identify number two and number five, these are our last, last two leads without numbers. We're going to put the negative terminal of the battery on number nine. And the positive, we're going to flash to number eight with our positive terminal. And we have an upscale deflection. So that means that the positive will be number two. And our negative would be number five. So now we've identified all nine leads. And this motor could be safely energized where we know that our connection is, is correct. This works on a Y-connected motor. The Delta-connected motor, which we've already talked about, has a different procedure, which we can talk about at a different time.